my wife knew this woman whose um, relative had a creative studio in Center City and set up an appointment for me to go up and see this guy. Well, I go up, I bring my portfolio up there, and he goes, puts it out, I put it out on a table, and he goes, this is crap. This is no good. I can't use this crap. Get the hell out of here. It's just what he said to me. He said that to me. I'm 23 years old. I go out in the hallway, I start crying like a baby. I packed up my stuff. I don't know what to say. My wife's downstairs. I was up there for 20 minutes, sobbing like a baby. And then I got mad. I said, this guy's not going to get me. I said, teacher says I'm good. I'm going to go study. <laughs> and that's, that's when I, that's, that, that's when it clicked in my head. You got to work hard for this. You got to really work hard. When I applied to, for the job at the Mint, it, it was advertised. There, were, there was an apprenticeship open. And I saw the, the application, and I said to my wife, I came home and said, Mary, I said, I'm going to try for this job. I said, just, just see if I can get it. And I was called for an interview with Gasparro. Well, I had read about, every once in a while on TV, you would hear about Gasparro, you would hear about uh, Gilroy Roberts, who was the chief engraver at the time. Um, prior to Gasparro, and um, I, uh, I was called in for an interview. But Gasparro, was, he was a very short guy. He was short, kind of balding, uh, very prominent nose. I mean, he was, looked, like he, looked like he was a fighter, and he was a fighter at the time. He was, he was, he, he was you know, he had this look about him, you know. He didn't want to mess with him. <laughs> so he, he hardly said anything. He said, let me see what you got. I said, okay. So I laid everything out, and he, he never said anything but very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, very nice. Ooh, very nice. That's good. That is especially nice. Very nice, very good, very good. Thank you for coming. What? <laughs> Packed up my stuff, went home. I didn't know what to expect. I swear to God. So, uh, a month later, I said to my wife, you know, Mira, I said, <laughs> Marianne, I said, I really haven't heard from that job. I said, I got to call, see if I got it. You know? So I called personnel, and I said, you know, I applied for this job a month ago. And he said, oh, Mr. Mercanti, you got the job. We've been trying to get you. I said, you had my number. He said, we were going crazy trying to find you. When could you start? You know? So I said, I said to my wife, Mary, I got the job. Let's go to the Mint. I got to see what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> <laughs>